Buffalo right now. Yeah. Uh, exactly. Survive in advance. I mean, uh, laser focus, all of that, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I, coach wouldn't go for that. You're in the playoff now. No, we're not in the playoff. But just the, how do you get everybody to focus on one thing? Well, I mean, that's that's really the only focus we need right now is just win win every week. So right now we got to win our game this week. we got to beat Maryland. That's the only goal. It's the only thing that matters. Nothing else matters. So we're just focused on getting better every day and going out and, and winning a game on Saturday. Is K.J. Hill getting better? Oh, yeah. K.J.'s coming. Every week he's gotten better and better and better and better. So he's, we're really excited about him. Is he the most improved? The totem pole? Yeah, I mean, he's he's been moving up the totem pole. Yeah. I mean, he's he's as valuable a guy as we have right now, really. So we're excited about him. Is he the most improved wide receivers? Is, what, is he the most improved wide receiver on your team since the beginning of the year, Zach? Um, probably. I mean, he's in the, in the conversation. I mean, he's he's gotten a lot better. I mean, we had high expectations. He had a, he, he, we, I expected him to do that, you know, and he's just kind of fulfilled expectations so far. So I'm excited about where he's going to be, but definitely he's in the conversation for that. He caught the first touchdown pass of the year. No so. question. That's, that's what he, that's there, what he right? keeps saying. Sounds sound like him. Yeah. <laughs> but the injury – Set him back a little bit. I mean, is, I mean not honestly, really. Right. I mean, to be honest, I mean, it set him back in the fact that he couldn't play for those couple of weeks. But yeah. he uh, he came back in the first day back. He looked, I mean, normal, which was bizarrely shocking. When you say he's getting better and better, what does that mean from a wide receiver coach's standpoint? Matter, he's running better routes. I mean, yeah, he's all blocking. of it. He's, he's playing faster. Yeah. You know, he's he's always run real crisp routes. He's understood the offense, and it's just as he's getting experience, he's, his his game speed and his. Practice speed is improving just because I think he's getting more comfortable. He's getting a better understanding, a deeper understanding, and so he's able to pl uh, play faster. Can I asked him after the Northwestern game, he had that catch in the fourth quarter that sparked you guys. I said, yeah. can this be a launching point, a turning point? And he said, well, yeah, maybe it can. Did you see – do players need – validation in a game like that and then take it from there. Yeah, I mean, a, a player's career is usually, it takes little small victories to kind of build momentum and really have them catapult into a great career. So when he made that play, that was one small victory. It was a chance for him to kind of build momentum in his own personal career and, and, and how valuable he is and his role on the team. So when he made the play, it was obviously a critical play and it was a big big thing that we needed to see him do. And obviously it wasn't by chance that he was in that situation. He had earned the trust to be in the situation and then he came through and he made the play. So it it was a big, big deal for him and a big deal for us. Zach, what have you seen from Ben Victor in practice a couple weeks ago? And for at least three weeks, Coach Meyer said he was so close. Yeah, he's just a baby. I mean, he's, <laughs> he's, just a, he's like Bambi, but he is so talented. And so he's he makes some plays where you're like, wow. And then, you know, he has some freshman moments. But he's he's came a long way just from the day he got here until now to the point where we're playing him. I mean, playing him in meaningful snaps, throwing him meaningful balls. And he's had, you know, had a couple opportunities where he needs to make a play. But some of the stuff you expect playing an 18-year-old, you know what I mean? And so I'm really pleased with where he is. Uh, he's got a ways to go, but but I'm really excited about it. So is it just his talent or what uh, made him improve to earn more playing time? Well, same as any receiver. I mean, he learned the – Learn the offense, learn the position, learn what I teach, learn the fundamentals of the position. I mean, he was raw, pretty raw coming out of high school. Uh, and so he just he's got better. He's got better every day and, and every week and slowly got to the point where he said, wow, like this, he's starting to play like the kid I you know, I recruited. Well, Zach was last week, I mean, nine or ten guys touched the ball and then Curtis with over 130 receiving yards. Is that kind of the pinnacle of performance that you want to see your guys do? Um, yeah, I mean, we, we just want to do our job and make plays when the plays present themselves. So whoever is in the game, we're going to be accountable that they're going to get it done. And so I don't, we don't really worry about how many guys touch the ball or how many yards Curtis has. Has. Obviously, Curtis is a great player right now, and he, he's a feature of the offense. So we're, we would like him to touch it, but it's not. We're not worried about did he have nine touches or seven touches or twelve touches. That is it's kind of irrelevant. It's that when Curtis is in, he better make the play, he better get open, and he better do his job. Same with everyone else. Zach, you were there.